Hi folks, welcome to the show. This is Reverend Dave talking to you with Reverend Review. Today we have here, you can see a Glock, but it is a Glock 44. As some of you may know, the Glock 44 is a 22 long rifle. And this Glock right here was loaned to me by a friend of mine. Um, pretty interesting. I don't, um, I'm not really a big fan of Glocks. I've owned several Glocks in the past, but not anymore. Um, but what's interesting to this is a 22. So what he's done is he's put a OEM threaded barrel on it, and uh, you know some some grips right here. Um, it's pretty nice. Um, very light. Extremely light. I used to have a Glock 42 that I would carry for my concealed carry, and I ended up getting rid of the Glock uh, 42 because it was so light. And this, I, I don't know what the actual weights are, but I would imagine it's even lighter than that. The frame here, I mean the slide here is polymer, except for you see this metal strip here. Um, wow, just a the Tupperware of all Tupperwares here. Um, very interesting. So the the magazine is much like any other 22 magazine. It has a see-through uh, vent and uh, easy loading. So this is 10 rounder. I guess you people in California and other communist states can can own this legally, but who knows? Maybe not. Let me know in the comments below if you guys can own this. So the sights are standard Glock sights. Um, but it's, um, I gotta miss, it feels a little good in the hand. I'm not going to get too crazy about it, but it does feel good. Trigger pull. Of course, you know, you see the Glocks, how they have the little dongle safety here. Make fun of them later for it. Um, Kind of um, stiff. The, the release. It's very positive. Very positive. It's not much of a, not much take up, not much of a squeeze. I don't know how many pounds, but probably not much. Um, very, but it's very positive though. There's no um, mistake in it. As you see here, you can see the guide rod and some other things. So if you're thinking about this, uh, I definitely say this would be a good training gun. Of course, 22 rounds are somewhat cheap, and so you could spend a lot of money, or, shoot, or spend a little money shooting a lot of rounds. It does have a rail for a light. It is a Glock 19 size. Maybe in the future we'll do a uh, shooting video. Now I've had uh, threaded barrels on other guns before. Um, the thing about it, when I would shoot my other threaded barrels, sometimes this uh, cap would just kind of work its way off, you know, through firing. Um, I don't know if that would be the same because the recoil on this would be so light to begin with if that would be a factor, but I'm sure in the future we can find out. In another video we could do a, a takedown, but the takedown is pretty similar to all Glocks. If you don't own a Glock, you've owned a Glock and you pretty much know how to take them down and work with them. You want to take a good look at it. They are made in the United States and Georgia. You see the proof mark for Georgia right there. The reason the serial number is different from this firearm from the barrel is because it's a OEM. It is made by Glock. It's a different barrel though. The barrel itself is also made in Georgia. Interesting. In 
in fact these uh these grips they feel they feel like almost like they, they they're a part of the gun looks like they were heated uh, on there nicely um, sometimes on some guns when people put some talent grips or something the edges will feel like they're just about to peel off um, that doesn't appear to be the case here of course uh, if you've never owned a Glock Glocks do not have an external safety the only safety that's here is the trigger has to be pulled if you drop the gun it's not going to go off on a Glock um, they're pretty safe and that means um, the only way you see this right here you have to push that in if this is not pushed in um, this is their safety if it's not pushed in it's not going to go off so if this gun shoots it's because you want it to shoot it's not going to shoot because the tooth fairy or something else trying to shoot it or something like that some ghost you have but yeah if you get a chance go ahead try one of these out at the range I'm gonna be doing that here soon so hopefully we'll see how this goes and uh, if you have any questions put them in the comments below I'll see what I can do to answer your questions until then this is Reverend Dave have a good afternoon